Hey everybody, aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. <laughs> okay, today I'm gonna be crushing aluminum foil. Hmm. But my goal today is to get this layer of aluminum foil as thin as possible. So I posit that I can get this in the nanometer range, which is very small, 10 to the negative nine meters thin. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm not just gonna fold it up and keep crushing it. Well, I'm going to do that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it up, but in between the layers, I'm gonna put this layer of plastic, okay? So I'm gonna have a layer of plastic, and I'm gonna keep folding the aluminum foil to keep them separate so they don't just morph together into one mass. Oh, because otherwise they would just squish together and just squish together one. And form kind of one solid hmm. chunk. So I'm gonna keep squishing it together, then at the end, after I fold it a lot of times, we'll see how many folds we can do. And see how uh, thin the shards it. are. Yeah, we're gonna unfold it and see the little pieces of aluminum and how thick they are. And I'll show you how thin they actually get. Stay tuned. How interesting. Okay, so here's my aluminum foil and this is my sheet of plastic that I will put in between. And then we will begin to count the folds. Okay, let's see how many folds we can do. Let's count them together, Joanna. <clears throat> All right. One. One. Hold it nice to the left. One. Okay. Two. This way. Three. It's getting harder. Six. Six. Let's do a seven. And then we're gonna get some help from the press. Okay, this is fold number eight. Or don't? Don't. Oh, so, okay.
best I can. Okay. So here's a good. Lower. There you go. Here's a good view of all the layers coming apart. Very thin layers. Okay, so here is our aluminum dust. So, I'm gonna go through a little calculation to tell you how thick some of this stuff is. So when you fold something that is X thickness um, times two to the N amount of times, that's how thick the total thickness is. So when we had it all folded in the end, I would say our total thickness was about one millimeter. We folded it 15 times. So we want to know how thick our little pieces of aluminum are. So that's X equals one millimeter divided by two to the 15, which is a really small number. X equals around 30 nanometers. So our, our theoretical limit for how thin some of this aluminum is, is around 30 nanometers thick. That's really, really thin. Obviously some of it is thicker than that because some of it squishes around outside of the press and it doesn't get squished down that thin. But some of it can be in the nanometer range, which is pretty cool. Which is 10 to the negative ninth meters. Yes, a nanometer is 10 to the negative ninth, which is very small. Very small, very small. So this is our end result. <laughs> <laughs> Aluminum <laughs> dust. Oh, you're making your silver hand, that's great.